All right, what is going on, my dude? So with the new month in Marvel Contest of Champions comes this new side quest with all of these solo objectives. Now, at first glance, man, these things really seem incredibly daunting. I was going through this and I was saying, oh my God, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these things, and they all have five different versions each. Then I looked at it closer, I said, okay, this one's pretty simple. Most of you probably have half of this one done already, and these two will come as time goes on. But then there are these, and these just look tedious as all hell, man. And this is something I just did not want to do. All right, so for all of these, for one per each class, okay, there's a, uh, with a skill champion, win five fights, ending with a light attack, and then with a medium attack, and then with a heavy attack, and then, with the skill champion, win two fights against the cosmic champion with the special one as the last hit, and then with the special two as the last hit. All of that for all six classes. And I said there has to be a way to do this faster and get through this so we can obtain all of the rings to get through the 10 rings tournament in an efficient, fast way without having to do too much grinding. Well, lucky for you. There is a way. And we're going back to the old reliable quest, it just so happens that in Road to the Labyrinth 1.1.1 here, you're going to go ahead and it's very, very, very simple. You're going to bring in... This doesn't feel right. Hold on. That's a lot better. We're going to go ahead and bring in your favorite six star skill champion or five star or four star or three star or even two star. I don't judge you based on where you are in the game. You just bring in your most powerful and most importantly, your favorite skill champion and you jump into 1.1.1 here. Now, as you can see, the first six champions on the path, we have Vision, Captain Marvel, uh, we have Punisher, Colossus, abomination and one more mystic champion now uh, i haven't been in math class for a while but those are six champions and i believe those are six different classes so what we're going to do is very very simple here we are going to go into the fight and we're just going to tap the screen that's all we're doing we're not even looking we're tapping the screen and there is your light attack okay now we're going to do this for the first six fights and that's it we're not going to keep going after that. We're going to go through six fights. We're just tapping the screen, okay? Now, what we're going to do here, is that's going to cost you six energy. Very, very simple. Six easy energy. That's one more than one of those little energy refills, okay? Now, once you're done with that, as you can see, for example, right here, well, that went up to one over five. So we're going to have to go through those six champions five times, of course. Now, once that's done, you're going to go right here and click the restart button, okay? You should still have 30 energy left. Now you're going to go through and start again. But this time, instead of tapping the screen, you're going to be swiping the screen. And you're not even going to be looking at it. Why? Because that's more fun. No looking. Check it out. There was your medium attack. You just got through the medium attack for your tech class. Now it's not going to show up by the way until you get through your light one. So you have to do the light attacks in order five times each for all six champions before you go on to the medium. And then once you do that with the medium, that should be 60 energy total, right? Six times five and then six times five, 30 plus 30, that's 60. You're going to go to exit, go to restart one more time. And this time you're going to do it with a heavy attack. Now, my favorite thing about Mole Man is that you can just hold the block button and go right into a heavy attack like that. Now, you're going to go through these six champions one more time, five times each, okay? And once we do that, we are going to go through the three, right? The first three out of five objectives. And now we're actually almost done. We only have to go through three more times total. So up next here, okay, it says with the skill champion, win two fights against cosmic champions with a special one as the last hit. Now, you may be thinking, all right, it might be kind of hard to build up to a special one um, in Road to the Labyrinth. I feel like I might 
I might kill the champion. Well, you don't have to worry about that because this is what you're going to do. You're going to click fight and you're actually going to put your phone down for just a moment and you're going to let the opponent hit into you as many times as he wants. Well, not as many times as he wants because you actually have to hit him with the special one before you get pushed up to a special two. Now, it might take a second. As you can see, uh, Vision here just really does not want to hit me. For some reason, I think he's just having a staring contest with Giganto Jr. There we go. He went for a couple more hits there. We're very, very close to being pushed up to a special one. One more hit and we should be there. Now you're going to go ahead and tap that special one button and there we go. So we're going to go through the six champions again, doing that against all six of them, but we're going to have to do that two times each. And that way we're going to be brought to our final objective here, the master with the skill champion, win one fight against a certain class champions with a special two as the last hit so there's one more thing that we need to do and by now you might have guessed exactly what that is we are going to go right back in against this vision arc the vision arcus this um vision age of ultron and well all six of them really but now this time we're gonna have to let him build us up to two bars of power now this might take a little bit of time because as you can see he doesn't really want to hit me with his basic attacks he's like come on this is like the tutorial that's like like, you know, getting you into the Everest content. I don't want to be too hard. I don't want to have to make you parry or intercept or anything. He's being very kind to us. But little does he know, he's actually making our job so much harder harder all right so at this point we're at the two bars of power and we go ahead and launch off that special two all right now all you have to do after getting through vision like that is go through those last five champions on this path and then you are going to have all of your objectives complete all of them okay that's going to be five for all six classes very very simply very very easy it should probably take you like 20 minutes or so to get through all those things and you don't have to worry about them for the rest of the month you have all of your tickets for the side quests um you know outside of the arena you have to go through the arena as well but if you do this like this, you're going to get all of your things that you need. There's your rings. And then there's also down here the Cavalier Master. Um, this is for the 10% T5CC. Don't even worry about that now. And all that's left to do is win 10 fights with Shang-Chi in arenas or duels. So you could do 10 very easy duels over the course of two days. And you can do win 10 fights with Shang-Chi um, in the side quest. So you could do 10 very easy quests in the side quest. So this is the easiest way for you to cheese your way through the new side quest with pretty much no effort at all. It's incredibly clutch to have these six champions in 1.1.1 and Road to the Labyrinth of six different classes, okay? So it's really, really awesome and very, very easy. So again, just to a quick refresh here, go in with your strongest skill champion. It could be any champion, but it has to be your favorite and go through the first six champs uh, five times each with a light attack, then claim the rewards, then with a medium attack, then claim the rewards, then with a heavy attack, then claim the rewards, then two times each for the special one ending, claim the rewards, and one more time each with the special two ending, and you are going to be good to go for the entire month of May. All right, my dudes, that's going to be it for this really quick, cheesy tutorial. If you enjoyed it, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about this new side quest in the comment section below. Personally, I'm a little over the grindy side quest, man, but this one at least has a way to get done fast and uh if you enjoyed it hit the subscribe button for more tutorials coming to you in the future i'll be seeing you around